Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 36 of Book 3, which states that if we have a circle and a point D outside of the circle, if we draw a line from point D such that it just touches the circle at point B, and we draw another line from point D, such that it cuts the circles at point C and A, then the line touching the circle, BD all squared, will be equal to the length of the entire line that cuts the circle, DA, multiplied by the portion of the line outside of the circle, DC. So this, AD multiplied by CD will be equal to DB all squared. So in our first example, we're going to prove this when the line DA passes through the center of the circle F. So we have that AF is equal to FC. We have from proposition 6 of book 2, that AD times CD plus FC all squared will be equal to FD all squared. Now I realize it may be a long time since you've looked at Proposition 6 of Book 2 or not looked at it at all, so I will just recap it for the moment. So here we have our points A, F, C, and D. A, F is equal to F, C. If we draw, or if we look at this rectangle right here, this is A, F times C, D, or X times Y. This is X times Y. This distance here is X, and this little bit is Y, so this rectangle is also equal to X, Y. So if we take this triangle, excuse me, this rectangle and this rectangle and add on equal amounts to both, in other words, this section right here and this section right here, the green polygon will be equal to the pink rectangle area-wise. So these two are equal. This is equal to AD times this little bit y, this little bit y, so this is equal to ad times cd, which means that this entire green bit is also equal to ad times cd. So these, this green bit is equal to ad times cd. This square right here is equal to fc squared. So if we add up the green bit, plus FC squared, we will end up with this square, which is FD squared. So AD times CD plus FC squared gives us FD all squared. So this is the informal proof of Proposition 6 of Book 2. If you want the formal proof, you should go look that one up in my playlists. All right, so carrying on, again, we have this equality. We'll draw a line from B to F, F being the center of the circle. Now, FD, just a moment, FD all squared is equal to BD squared plus BF squared. This is just Pythagoras' theorem right here. Now, since BF is equal to FC, because they are both right out of the same circle, I'm just rewriting this equation so that I have BD squared plus FC squared equals FD squared. Now let's look at this equation and this equation. I'm going to rewrite BD squared 
is equal to fd squared minus fc squared, just putting this on the other side. And here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the fc squared and put it on the other side. And we end up with these two equations. Now, since this bit is equal, that means that these two are also equal. In other words, we end up with our proof that AD times CD is equal to BD squared. So this is the proof when AD passes through the center of the circle, F. I've rewritten it in terms of R and X and Y, just so that you can look at the algebra instead of the geometry, if you wish to do so. So we have that AD times CD, which is 2R plus Y, times CD, which is Y, is equal to X squared. So that is what the proof is stating. And a little bit of algebra will show you that this holds. All right. So let's give a proof when AD does not pass through the center of the circle. So here we have E as the center of our circle. So we draw a line from E to the line DA so that it is perpendicular and it intersects at the point F. Now CF is equal to FA according to Proposition 18 of Book 3 since EF is perpendicular to CA. So this line here is equal to this line here. Again, we are having our AD times CD plus FC squared is equal to FD squared. I'm taking this equation, AD plus, I'm taking this equation, and then what I've done is I've added EF squared on both sides of the equal sign. So I've just added EF squared to both sides of that equal sign. Now if we look at our triangle FEC, because this is a right angle, it's, we can use Pythagoras' theorem. So we have that FC squared plus EF squared is equal to EC squared. Again, if we're looking at this equation here, since FC squared plus EF squared equals EC squared, I'm taking this and I'm replacing it with EC squared and rewriting it. So I have that AD times CD plus EC squared is equal to FD squared plus EF squared. If I draw another triangle, EDF, I have EF squared plus FD squared is equal to DF squared. So again, I have this bit here, which is equal to this. So I'm simply taking this one and replacing it into the equation and rewriting it. So now I have that AD times CD plus EC squared is equal to ED squared. Drawing yet another triangle, EDB, I have that EB squared, or DB squared plus EB squared, is equal to ED squared. Pythagoras' theorem. Rewriting the equation that because EB is equal to EC, so what substitutions have we done here? We're starting with this equation. We have that ED squared plus EC squared, so I'm just subtracting EC squared from here, and I am subtracting EC squared from here, and I end up with these two equations. 
where this is equal to this. Consequently, these two are also equal to each other. Rewrite that. And we have AD times CD is equal to DB squared, which is what the original proposition stated. So again, what we have shown, if we have a point D outside of a circle, and we draw a line from point D such that it touches the circle, we have another line from point D such that it cuts the circle, then the line that touches the circle, all squared, will be equal to the full line that cuts the circle multiplied by the portion of the line that is outside of the circle. So this all squared is equal to this multiplied by that. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.